guys and welcome back to another video on my channel i hope everyone's having a fantastic day today today we are going to be doing the first challenge for the vascal of the bachelors so i am so excited to do this um this is going to be an elimination type of style so the person who comes in last place gets kicked out of the running you're not worthy enough to be my bachelor at the moment all of the contestants are locked away in their houses um, some of their needs are a little bit slacking, but I'm going to leave that for now. Later on, there's a couple challenges that heavily rely on their needs being a bit lower down. So instead of taking care of them now, I'm just going to jump them into the first challenge um, to make it a little bit more interesting as we go on later. So first challenge of the game is going to be a gaming challenge. Basically, the way we are going to do that is everybody is going to have a round of chess. It is going to be a 1v1, so there are four different stations, and essentially the four losers are going to go up against each other in the video game challenge, where they will be 1v1ing each other to see who will win. One person from each room will be losing, and those two will then face off against each other in the final battle, which is foosball. This is their last chance to stay into the competition. The person who loses will be eliminated from the battle of the bachelors, and the remaining seven will go on to the next challenge. So to make this a fair challenge, I decided to pull up a wheel with everybody's names on to see who will be versing who. Um, that way there will be no bias from me and it will purely just be luck to see who versus each other. Right, so the first name we got is Harbour and Harbour is going to be the first person um, in the challenge and we are going to roll the wheel again to see who their challenger is going to be. Harbour's name was removed from the list because we already have him, but who is he going to verse? Let's see. Ooh. Luigi. Harbour is going to go up against Luigi. Uh, this is a very interesting pairing because Harbour does have a level 2 in the logic skill. And the first challenge is chess. So this is going to be interesting to see who's going to win. I need a pen to write down all of this information. Where is my pen? I cannot find a pen. Right, now we are going to roll the wheel again to see who our next challenger is going to be. Right, our next challenger is Rip Grunt, and he is going to go up against... Sebastian from Stardew Valley. Okay, very interesting pair up. Um, again, this will be very interesting because even though Sebastian is a gamer, if he gets to round two, he would theoretically have a better chance at winning, but I did not actually level up his gaming skill. I leveled up his logic skill, so that will be very interesting. Next up, we have the next challenger, who is going to be... Looks like it's going to be Brenyol from Skyrim. The little sneak thief himself is going to go up against... Now there's only three names left, so the remaining two are going to go up against each other. Brynjolf is going to go against Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. I would be very nervous if I was him, um, even if I was almost the leader of a thieving guild. Neville's a wizard, and I think he has a reputation of being very good at wizarding chests. So again, very interesting pair up. Now, there are two people left, which means that Pavle and Flynn are going to go up against each other. We don't even need to roll the wheel um, in order to know that, so I am just going to put them down as challengers. All of the challengers are running to take their seats to get ready for the games. Some of them are a little bit quicker than the other people, which will be interesting. Looks like Neville's having a bit of issue with a fence over there, but luckily that was not part of the challenge, so he cannot get booted out for being a little bit clumsy. All eight sims have taken their places, now it's just time to start the matches. We are going to play against Luigi. 
Rip, you are going to play against Sebastian. Brynjolf, you are going to verse Neville. And finally, Pavle, you are going to be versing Flind. Now, it does look like Pavle is a little bit unhappy because he needs a bath, but there's nothing we can do about it. The games are about to begin. Right, looks like there's a little bit of a cheat happening over here with Harbour. Luigi did not realize it, so it stays in the game. He cannot get disqualified for cheating, even though we saw everything. These two are thinking very hard and intense. Oh, looks like we have another cheat from the master of thieving himself. Brynjolf has pulled one over on great wizarding chess player Neville Longbottom. Surprise, he didn't notice that one. Over here, we have the pirate playing against what seems to be a very nervous Pavle. Considering you are being brought up in war times, I would consider that chess would be your forte. But seems to be he's very nervous. Everybody is learning how the game works so far, except for Harbour, who already has a level 2 in chess. Pavle is getting even more uncomfortable because now he really needs the bathroom, but that does not concern me. I really hope that the Sims are going to get mood buffs after this, otherwise it's going to be very difficult for me to tell who wins. Looks like our first game is finished. Luigi is the chess victor. I did not see that coming. So he is safe from elimination, which means I'm so sorry, Harbour, but you are up for elimination and therefore you will be moving to the next round. Let's get Harbour moving to the next place while Luigi can just take a nice seat on the chair and observe the other matches. Looks like this game is also done. Let's see. Sebastian doesn't have a token. But Rip Grunt does have a token, which means Rip is the victor and Sebastian is up for elimination, sadly. Our next pairing who has finished is Neville Longbottom and Brynjolf. Brynjolf does not have a token, which means all of that wizarding chess practice has paid off. Neville Longbottom is the champion. He will be safe from elimination. I'm sorry, Brynjolf. You are at risk. Now it looks like the last match is still going on, so we'll be able to watch this till the end. Looks like both players are trying very difficult. Pavle is very uncomfortable, but he is fighting on. He does not want to be eliminated. The game is over. And Flynn is the victor, which means Pavle, I am so sorry, bud, but you are up for elimination. Right, we are back at the wheel to see who will be versing who. We have all four of the eliminated players on the wheel. We are going to spin to see who the first challenger is. Sebastian. All right, looks like our little D&D nerd is going to be the first challenger going into the video game challenge. Now, we are going to roll again to see who he is versing, but because there are only three people left, that means the two remaining players will go up against each other. Sebastian will be versing... Brynjolf. Okay. Right, that seems like a pretty good pairing to me. I'm interested to see what happens. That means that Pavle and Harbour are going to go up against each other. So, Luigi is safe, Rip is safe. Pavle is going to go up against Harbour in arena number two. And Sebastian is going to go up against Brynjolf in arena number one. Sorry, if all the contestants can please take their seats as soon as possible, we can get this started. Fantastic. Now, again, I am desperately hoping that there are going to be buffs that appear. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult for me to tell who wins. We are going to verse the other person in the game. I believe the best way to do this is to say play multiplayer. 
um, and we are going to verse. We are going to verse Sebastian at Party Frenzy. We can go ahead and get that game started so long. Next up, we have the next two challenges, which is going to be Pablo versing Harbor at Party Frenzy. Silence in the gaming arena. The games have begun. Here we have our first two challenges. For some reason, there seems to be four characters on the board. The other two must be NPCs, which I can totally understand. Very intense game going on over here. Looks like Pablo is getting pretty excited. Um, seems as though he might be winning so far by his reactions. These two seem to be pretty focused. A lot of movements in their thumbs, which I'll be honest, I'm not a controller player, so I don't know if that's a good strategy or not. Almost seems as though it's a bit exaggerated, which to be fair, this is a kid's game. Um, Sebastian threw his fist in air for a second, which seems as though he might be in the lead. He seems very excited about that. Over there looks like Harbour might have gotten a point, which I'm really proud of him to do. I heard bad music, so somebody is suffering and I feel as though it might be Pablo. I do also want to say, if a sim cancels any of the games uh, to fulfill their wants or their needs, that means they are disqualified and they will automatically be going to the last round. Seems as though the two games are going on. Pablo is not doing too well. Luigi is very excited to see what's happening between Sebastian and Brynjolf. I am too. Neville's just there shaking his head a little bit, which I can understand. You are 100% forced to be here. The first game has ended. Sebastian has left. I don't see any token. Brynjolf is the victor, which means Sebastian is up for elimination. Oh no, that is not good. I am in complete shock. Sebastian is a D&D champion. This is very shocking. And the last match has finished as well. Pablo is in desperate need for the bathroom, which makes me think I am wrong. He lost. It says that he lost. I am so sorry, Pablo. I had too much hope in you, which means Harbour is the victor. So our Sims are busy sneaking off into the other challenger house to go take care of their needs. I should stop them, but... I didn't, so I'm just going to let these few people go to the bathroom and then we'll be back with our last game. Right, we are going to need six spectators sitting over here and that is when we know everybody is seated. Looks like these are the last two to be seated and our two challenges are outside getting ready for the final game. Right, everybody is ready. Let's see. So Sebastian and Pavle, please enter the arena. I know you guys are not feeling too well, but this is the last challenge to see who will win and who will get eliminated. Eliminated players will not be returning. Um, it means the end for them. We are going to have Pablo be the challenger and we are going to have him challenge Sebastian to a foosball game for the money. We have a rogue spectator going to the bathroom, which how dare he. Right, even though we lost the spectator, the games are going to have to begin without him. This is the game for the money. Looks like Pablo is in the lead so far. Sebastian looks very disappointed right now. I feel as though I do have to remind him, even though I've been doing that all game, that if he loses this, he will be eliminated and will not be in competing for my heart. Pablo did look very disappointed right there. He looks like he gave up, but no, he is back in the game. Even with stink lines coming off of him, he still desperately wants to stay alive. Just like his character in this war of mine, he is trying as hard as he can, but looks like Sebastian's video gaming skills are coming into play where he is doing very well in foosball. This is a very interesting challenge to have considering Sebastian has previous experience when it comes to video gaming. Pablo is a skilled athlete and a very good runner and football has a lot of running in it, so who knows? I will say that they are very focused on one side of the table when the ball is clearly on the other side. Maybe they were just competing with themselves and not really playing the game, but looks like they are focusing right now. Pavle does look very upset at the moment, but there's nothing he can do. Bastion seems to be focusing on the wrong side of the board, but he has realized his errors and I think he is. He is now working on the right side of the board, focusing on the ball, which is the way it's supposed to be. 
The ball is very close to going into the goal, but seems as though they are hanging on by a thread. This is going to be a very close game. And it is nighttime, so the lights are kicking in. Very intriguing game. It is raining outside. Brynjolf has had enough and has decided not to see who the final winners are. I am starting to get worried that there will not be a buff when one of them wins the game because this has been going on for a while now. My voice is getting tired and none of them seem to be winning, so this might have been a bad idea. Everybody out there is tired of watching this. It has gone on all night. It is now 9 p.m. I am going to be speeding up this game a little bit just so that we can see who wins a little bit quicker because this is getting on my nerves. I would like to see who the winner is and who the loser is more importantly. <gasps> the game has ended. I think we have a winner. Pavle beat Sebastian 5-2-3. That means Pavle, even though he is in a terrible mood at the moment, if you look at his needs, he is sure suffering. But he won the game and our dear sweet Sebastian, who I thought could go very far in this game, is eliminated. Sebastian will not be my bachelor. I am sorry, Sebastian. You should have tried a little bit harder, buddy. I would be sad too. I'm a real catch and you threw the game. I feel as though you tried really hard. But it was not enough. If you just learned how to play chess, you would not be in this situation. I'm sorry, Sebastian. You're out. Right, Sebastian has been kicked out of the household. He is no longer a part of this Sim series. It is really heartbreaking, but... Exciting news is there are now only seven people competing to see who will end up being my bachelor. Very exciting stuff. And in the next episode, we are going to continue with the challenges. We have completed the video game challenges, which was a lot of fun. In the next episode, seven of our contestants will be entering this mysterious little house and will go down into the huge obstacle arena. I'm excited to see who will come out our victor. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you're notified every time I post. I'll be posting again tomorrow with the next episode, so stay tuned. I can't wait to see who will survive and who will get eliminated next time in Battle of the Bachelors. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!